Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're gonna be solving a Physics 7a practice problem on the topic of thermodynamic processes and cycles. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as that really helps our channel. This is the problem that we're gonna be doing today. Uh, Ravi is studying the thermodynamic process to the right, which is described at a PV diagram for one mole of an ideal monatomic gas that does not change phase. He measures that during this process, uh, 2,600 joules of heat is added to the system. What is the sign of the work in this process? Calculate the final temperature, calculate change in internal energy, calculate uh, change in thermal energy, and then calculate the work in the process. Okay, so as you can see, I have my instructions over here and I uh, redraw the little picture of Raji's uh, process that he has. Now, unfortunately, this process is not any of the processes that we studied during our review session. So certainly not isovolumetric, isothermal, or adiabatic. The only one that it sort of resembles is isobaric because delta P is equal to zero. Um, if you look at the initial state, which is this one, and the final state, which is this one, delta P doesn't really change, it's equal to zero. However, isobaric by definition is not that delta is equal to zero. The definition of isobaric per se is that, del is that P doesn't change um, as you go through the process. So pressure is not uh, a state function. So the path does matter. And in this case, uh, even though delta P is equal to zero and it might seem like this is isobaric, uh, the pressure wasn't kept constant as, you, as we did the uh, process, which means that this is not isobaric. And then it's also not anything else so any of the simplifications that we have right here, we unfortunately cannot use. We're gonna have to use the equations as such. Um, and why can we actually use these equations? Well, because this is an ideal gas, so we can use the ideal gas law. This is a definition, so that's always something we can use. And there are no phase changes, which uh, means that E bond is equal to zero, which means that we can use this approximation right here. And then this is also a definition that we have, so we could always use that regardless. All right, so let's get started. Uh, first thing that we have to figure out is the sign of the work. So that's pretty easy because on the review, um, we, we saw that work is positive if the volume is decreasing and negative if the volume is increasing. So we just have to look at the graph. So this is our initial and this is our final. The volume clearly goes from 1.3 to 2.3. So the answer to part A is that work is, uh, if it's increasing, then work has to be negative because volume uh, increases. There we go. Again, this is something that we saw in the review, negative if volume increases. So it really is as straightforward as that. So now we move on and we have to figure out our final uh, temperature, which is gonna be pretty easy because we do have uh, an ideal gas. So what we're gonna do is just use our ideal gas law. So for B, the ideal gas law is PB is equal to N, N I'm sorry, RT. So if I solve for temperature, my final temperature, this goes dividing. So this is my final pressure, my final volume, my number of moles, which, which doesn't change, times R, which is just a constant. So PV, um, so this is one, but this is kilojoules, so this is 1,000. BF is 2.3 and it's just one mole and then um, R is 8.314 uh, Please note that I had to change this into joules because R the units of R uh, um, is joules 
mole kelvin so because this is joules and you have to cancel the joules this can't be kilojoules uh, so that's the reason why I had to do that so TF final answer is let's see calculator time 1000 1.23 times 2.3 divided by 8.314 and that will be equal to 276.64 kelvins final answer all right so now we move on to part c so part c is asking us for change in e thermal okay so change in e thermal So we need to um, go to our definition. So change in e-thermal. And I'm gonna copy this equation right here. Is equal to the total number of modes one half kV delta t like this um, so this okay so we have to find our um, initial temperature we have to find our initial temperature so let's just go ahead and do that so our initial temperature is we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to use the ideal gas law, but now we're going to do initial, initial, initial. So our initial temperature is our PI, BI, and R. So this is 1000. BI is 1.3. and is 1. 8.314. And then this is equal to... If I just change this, 156.36 Kelvin. And now I just have to put everything, these two over here, and we have to figure out the uh, total number of modes, which we know how to do. So the total number of modes, each is equal to the Mo average number of modes per particle times the number of particles. So in this case, the total number of modes is equal to three because this is monatomic gas. So monatomic gas only has three modes, three thermal modes, the uh, kinetic uh, translational modes. So this is three. And then we have one mole and the number of atoms is Avogadro's number, and Avogadro's number, I will have to look it up. Uh, Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23. And then this is one half, just because of the one half. KV Boltzmann. Uh, this isn't the quiz. I just don't have the quiz at hand. Uh, one point three eight. One point three eight times ten to the negative twenty three, and then delta t, which is final minus initial, so two seven six point six four minus one. 56.36 so change any thermal if we multiply all of this that would be let's see 3 1 6.022 1 half 1.38 and then 276.64 minus 156.36 149 so 
uh, joules so approximately 1.5 kilojoules final answer there we go so that will be our final answer that was simple enough you know except for the fact that i had to go back to the uh either the bottom part of the quiz or google to look for those constants that i don't have memorized everything else was pretty straightforward it was just applying a definition and now we're gonna move on uh, to part, uh, what is this, D, so internal energy. Changing internal energy. So this is kind of straightforward because again, we can use our definitions. So our first definition is that delta U is equal to change in E thermal uh, plus change in E bond. But again, no phase changes so this is equal to zero because no phase changes therefore uh, delta u is equal to delta eth so this is 1499.35 joules final answer all right, so now for part E, we have to figure out the actual magnitude for work. Okay, so part E, we have to figure out work. And we're going to use the other side of this equation, which is that um, delta U is equal to delta E dH, but it is also Q uh, plus W. Now, this one we have and this one we have because... Uh, the problem is saying uh, 2,600 of heat is added to the system. Uh, that means positive because the system is gaining energy. So if you add it to the system, the system has more heat. So um, this is 1499.35 is equal to 2600 plus W, which means that W is just the subtraction of these two so that's gonna be um one four i'm just gonna do one five zero zero one five zero zero minus two six zero zero that is equal to negative one one zero zero joules final answer is it negative as we expected yes it's negative as we expected so we knew that it was going to be a negative number um since uh part a over here and that is something that you can use. Like, even if you don't know that added to the system means positive, if you had done negative here and then your final answer is a positive, but that contradicts this, then you know something is wrong, right? Like, you have to go back and make sure that everything, you know, matches. Otherwise, you have, like, something is wrong and you need to, you need to change it while there's um st still time. But in this case, now everything was a perfect match regardless of how we want to look at it and this will be the end of this practice problem so if you guys have found it useful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as that really helps promote our channel and i will see you guys on our next video